pay my uh, gratitude for welcoming me to uh, to your station uh, next uh, news in order to uh, to speak to uh, to yourself. Uh, Tanzania is the population of almost 56 million people. Uh, you can imagine we have uh, different religious groups, we have uh, different uh, uh, clans, but our uh, prime priority was to ensure that our local people have access to uh, uh, the PPEs and also awareness uh, in terms of knowing what the COVID-19 was. We are seeing a lot on the news, uh, but we wanted to really touch the grassroots of our people to ensure that um, uh, they are aware and they also have what we call preventive uh, measures, such as, as you mentioned, the, the PPEs, the mask, the sanitizers, the soap. Uh, so we got together the business community uh, on the almost on the 28th of uh, March. This was our first initial uh, campaign where we got the entire business community in the country uh, to, uh, to assist the government, knowing that other developed countries and the government, they were not able uh, to, um, uh, to, uh, to cope with the, the kind of uh, a virus as well as the, the measures. So what we've done is we've learned from what others have, uh, have, uh, have done. We've also learned uh, what others were not able to do. So what we were able to do was to get the business community together, uh, to bring in the uh, assistance to the government uh, with all these PPEs. So that was our first, which we raised about one, uh, 1.185 uh, billion uh, shillings worth of equipment, goods, as well as the, the uh, sanitizers and the medical uh, PPE. What is the status of COVID-19 and the figures at the moment? The current uh, status? The, the current status compared to uh, various uh, East Africa uh, is very low. Uh, we currently have almost uh, 16 to 18 deaths. That's what officially uh, registered. But in terms of the numbers we have, we, ha we had seen previously the high numbers of um, uh, infected uh, uh, individuals, but the numbers now begin to stabilize. Uh, to um, uh, We are seeing a lot of numbers from the government that there are more people actually recovering compared to uh, the death and uh, uh, what you call it, um, uh, the cases. So the progress in the country uh, is uh, stable. The government are doing all their best as they could to make sure that they are contained. But for us as a private sector and the community, we have done a lot in educating our community. We have done uh, big campaigns such as the mobile campaign where you call someone, within the first few seconds you hear the awareness of the campaign, wash your hand, uh, don't, don't uh, maintain the social distances, uh, and on also avoid the big crowd and so forth. So uh, in terms of the death, uh, people are beginning to be more aware. They are also more understanding uh, yes. because of the previous awareness we've done. Yes. But of course, we, we are beginning to see the, the effect of the COVID yes. and it's very... Uh, it's taking its toll now as we speak. Yes. Um, on a country that's very dependent on tourism, such as ours, how do you foresee tourism post-COVID? As you can uh, see, uh, tourism in Tanzania uh, almost uh, contribute to 20% of our GDP. And we have seen uh, uh, almost 95 of the, uh, the, the turnover uh, as well as uh, uh, what, what we call it, uh, the uh, revenue completely washed out uh, as a result of people staying away, cancellations of the booking, uh, and also uh, hotels have been uh, badly hit. We've got no hotel open currently in Tanzania. So this has a huge impact in our economy, but also our ways of life from the local community and so forth. And you can imagine Tanzania being one of the top holidays destinations in the world when you mention the safari, when you mention Zanzibar. So all of these are completely badly hit in the country uh, as we speak. 
the revenue stream from the car rental also, um, as well as uh, maintaining the jobs of our local community has been very uh, badly hit as yes. a result of but uh, is a strategy being put into place um, how w you can get out of this, how you can get the economy going, the tourism going uh, post-COVID? So um, we are currently, what we have done as a business community was we have uh, done what we call it um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, what's the, um, the, the right word? We've done an uh, impact assessment uh, on the economy, how each sector, from the manufacturing, oil and gas, uh, to uh, healthcare, tourism, and so forth, how were they able uh, and how were they hit badly. So uh, meanwhile, what we've done is we have got a team of uh, what we call it executive committee, which is a team of almost 14 experts. These are the team which will be looking at how to revive the economy uh, 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 post uh, COVID, and, and how, how to sector. how to boost it again. Um, I wanted to, this is obviously part of the news, so it's not a very long interview. But as a specialist in the oil and gas sector, um, I'd like to speak about energy and the drop in the price of oil. How is that going to um, contribute? to the way the consumer, the householder, the families, are you putting into place strategies where you can subsidize uh, the households? Thank you very much. Um, the oil and gas industry, as you can see around the world, they've had a, a massive, uh, massive hit. Uh, but for Tanzania, uh, being uh, the, uh, what you call the, the, the last pioneers of oil and gas, we have a number of projects which are still ongoing because these are um, the projects that reach the local people. Uh, we have, for instance, uh, power generation projects that are still ongoing, still being built and still uh, on track to ensure that people have affordable uh, energy, but most importantly, uh, to be in line with His Excellency John Pombe Magufuli's vision in terms of uh, maintaining uh, the industrialization uh, strategy. So when you look at the bigger picture in terms of the drop of oil, uh, oil industry, yes, it has a, a huge impact on, uh, on our economy, but that is yet very early stage to assess the impact uh, of this uh, uh, dip, uh, because we are actually taking measures to minimize uh, what, uh, what others are experiencing around the world. So uh, just a very quick last question. Is there going to be an impact on the householder for a reduction of their, um, the cost of their fuel at home, their, their energy bills? Um, when you, of course, when you look at the price of the, uh, the, 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 the oil itself and so forth, this has a huge impact, of course, in the uh, in economy. And the government is doing its best to ensure that it's, uh, the benefits are actually passed to our, uh, to our community. Uh, in addition to that, the government is also ensuring that uh, uh, any uh, 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 benefit that results from the reduction of the, uh, the, the price has a, is passed on to the, to the community. That's great. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much yeah. for your time. That was uh, His Excellency, uh, the Honorable Abdul Rahim, uh, who's chairman of the Association of the Tanzania Oil and Gas Providers. And with that, um, I remind you that the news in Maltese will air at 7.30. I'm Leah Hogg. I'll see you tomorrow at 5.30. Good evening.